Hello everybody out there and welcome back to another episode of the world's finest comic review show and in this episode I'll be reviewing Superman Wonder Woman issue number 21 the strongest out of every single Superman book right now and that's not saying much because I, I don't know how much more of this I could take when it comes to Superman however this story arc is giving promise not for the near future but the distant future possibly this issue, Superman has the coordinates where his friends are, but Wonder Woman's already there. And we find out who sent Wonder Woman there. I'm going to spoil that. And it's Steve Trevor. Steve Trevor basically sent her there to get the truth out of everybody, to make sure that they're not in a coup with Superman, to try to take over the world or destroy the world. And after getting all the answers to her questions, ironically, Superman shows up. <clears throat> and there is a scene in the beginning of the issue with Firestorm, and there is a character that I want you guys to take note on, and that's Mr. Bend. Um, it, we'll talk about that when we get to the end of the book. But anyway, Firestorm gets um, taken away by these people that actually attack Superman and Wonder Woman um, in the facility where uh, his friends are being held. And Superman, to protect them, <clears throat> stays behind to fight these black hole people. That's what I'll call them anyway. Um... Before that happens, though, everybody's happy to see Clark, of course, except Perry White, who basically, you know, Soup talks to everybody for a little bit, making sure they're okay, and then he goes to Perry, and he's like, Perry, I want to, and Perry's like, you know what, I don't want to hear it, just get us out of here, and that's that. So, the fight was awesome. Superman almost was lost, but Wonder Woman against Superman once again, because Superman wanted Wonder Woman to stay back so she wouldn't be a target. Um, she actually ends up saving Clark, but... Um, <clears throat> Clark basically chooses to leave on his own with a JLA teleporter instead of um, on his own because he doesn't want anybody to follow him. Basically, Wonder Woman now has betrayed him because um, instead of going to Clark or instead of not, you know, listening to Clark and not getting involved and involving herself um, to help Clark, even though she has a reason for it, he doesn't want to hear it. And he, he's not. He's not happy about it. He's I'm not happy and. Um, I'm not going to say it's okay what you guys did. Even what Lois did when she revealed his identity. He's like, I don't want to hear it. He's had enough, basically, of everybody. You know, he knows... He, I'm sure he understands that everybody's trying to help him. But at the same time, he just doesn't want to hear it anymore. Because the more people try to help him, the worse things get. And even being around Clark right now, it's even... It's twice as dangerous as it was before. Because he doesn't have his powers to protect not only himself but the people around him so he's more dangerous to be around now than ever before so that's why he leaves and he's ha and speaking of the powers this is why he's leaving he said you know I'm tired of being powerless so the next story arc for Wonder uh, Superman Wonder Woman is him trying to get his powers fully back and that's what's gonna probably lead into the story arcs in the future but we get an epilogue and this epilogue connects to Batman, Superman, and um, <clears throat> Action Comics because we had Vindal Savage with Batman, Superman, Wrath with uh, Action, and now Mr. Bend is the third person jumping into this uh, coup of a, or this party. So in Batman, Superman, we're going to have Vindal Savage. In Action Comics, we're going to continue with Wrath. And in this series, starting with the next issue, Mr. Bend is going to be the man, main antagonist. And with Superman, obviously, it's still going to be taking place in the past. I guess that's going to be the prequel to everything going on all the way through until this is almost done. But out of all the books, this is an excellent book. I left out all the dialogue on purpose because there's some really interesting stuff in here that you guys might be interested in reading. And I don't want to spoil the entire book or walk you through the whole entire book because a lot happens. But I would definitely recommend, if you're going to read a Superman book, this is one of the ones you'll want to read. Uh, this definitely has a stronger story out of all of them. Remember, I'm not comparing this to other comics. I'm only comparing this to other Superman books. So this has the strongest story, the one that's kept me interested the most. Action Comics is a strong second. Um, uh, Superman is a very weak third, and Batman, Superman is the last place because Batman's not around anymore, and Superman is just going all over the place. So I would definitely say check out issue 21 of Superman Wonder Woman. I'm still shocked the series is going on because by now I was expecting them to be broken up, but I guess it's going to take a little bit longer if at all. 
And with that, that's it for this review, guys. Feel free to let me know what you guys think of what's going on with Superman, what's going on in Superman Wonder Woman, and just in general with the story arc right now of Superman in the comments below. I personally cannot wait for this to be over. Uh, I am glad Lois and Clark is coming back, so it will give me that little one issue a month relief with Superman, and hopefully it'll stick for more than just six months and DC won't cancel it because it seems like every six months they cancel about eight titles that aren't selling well. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but, uh, anyway, while you're down there, a bunch of links, this channel, Frontline, uh, Frontline Gaming Zone, and Zone 4 Podcast, you guys know the drill, lots of really great stuff from all those sites, lots of really great stuff coming out on this channel, and other sites connected to this channel as well, till then, guys, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in the next review.